why do uh, basically people with money have good health care and why do people that live on lower salaries not have good health care? Um, you know, health should be a right for everyone. It may sound like a mission statement from the Obama White House, but this is Barbara Bush, the 28-year-old daughter of former President Bush. And she's talking about the Global Health Corps, a nonprofit she's running to bring health equity to parts of this country and Africa. HIV is preventable, and now it's treatable. Malaria is preventable and treatable. Um, these are the diseases that we hear about so often, and yet they don't have to happen. The Global Health Corps funds recent college graduates to go to East Africa or Boston and Newark for a year to work on public health. Many have skills outside medicine. Just got here. Like this young man working in Tanzania. He used to work at the Gap um, doing, working on their supply chain. And now instead of working to get jeans from a warehouse into a store, he's working to get drugs into a clinic to patients. Bush became committed to health care while traveling in Africa with her parents. I vividly remember standing next to a tiny precious girl who was lying down dressed in her fanciest white and lavender dress. I didn't know the detail of that child's life, only that, excuse me, <laughs> that she was too sick to stand. The little girl died soon after. After graduating from Yale, Bush worked in a children's hospital in South Africa. But having the passion was different than starting an organization and asking Google for a quarter million dollars in seed money. I was totally terrified beforehand, and really it was probably the most intimidating thing um, that I'd done. The Global Health Corps sent 22 fellows into the field last year. Within five years, they hope to have 500. But we were still struck by Bush's statement, health care should be a right for everyone. What do you think of Obama health care reform? That is a good question, and um, obviously the health care reform uh, bill, you know, was highly debated by a lot of people, and um, I guess I'm glad that, you know, a bill was passed. While Bush handled that like a pro, we noticed how easily she's made the transition from first daughter to private citizen. To be honest, I mean, I haven't had a ton of adjustments. I feel like I've always been able to live a pretty anonymous life. As first daughter, I took the subway. Um, and now I take the bus from New York to Baltimore to visit Jenna. Do you have any interest in running for office? Jenna and I both grew up with our grandfather um, in politics and our dad in politics, and I just don't see that being some, a decision that I would want to make for myself in the future. Right now, she's too busy creating a new path for herself and other young people. They're already making an impact and, um, and already making changes, and so it, it's just very inspiring to think about how that can continue the more that, um, that we can inspire more young people to go into the health field.